Welcome back to Man Across New Horizons. I'm Dead Arling. Shall we see what's going on on our lovely island of Von Holler today as Audie pulls the most horrified face in existence? You know, working out does that to you. But yeah, um, I actually have something I want to talk about today. Uh, thank you for 200 subscribers. Whoa! Woo! Clap, 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 clap. Um, I honestly I had no idea I reached 200 subscribers until someone congratulated me. Also, I got congratulated by a friend. Shout out to William, um, if he's watching us. That I apparently have uploaded a thousand videos now which I also didn't realise because apparently I don't keep track of any sort of milestones, which is, you know, kind of fair. I, I kind of don't. It just sort of all sneak up on me and then, you know, everything just happens at once and I'm just like, whoa, okay. But I got a nice little print screen of it that he sent to me, so there we go. Hello for everyone. Right now in Fawn Hollow, it's 3.33pm on Wednesday, July 14th, 2021. That's really speak of, so now I'm glad that there's an audience of 200 of you, or maybe not simultaneously, um, who have been joining me on my very strange journeys through random for a thousand different videos. Um, if anyone out there has actually watched all the thousand different videos, I've got to say that is absurd. Um, <laughs> please don't do that. Please, please, please just have me on in the background while you do something else more important, you know. That's what I am. I, I, I pride myself on being second monitor content. Background chatter, you know, like the reason people go to a coffee shop to sort of um, have a little ambiance in the background. Now, I'm, I guess you want someone talking background? That's me. <laughs> I don't know. It's up, touch down. I was wiping down my workout gear. Oh. Lift the couch, I remember this one. And now it's ours. But yeah, um, so th thank you, thank you. Um, hopefully I can make more videos for you to enjoy. Or at least <laughs> watch, I don't know. I, I I guess you could hate watch it if you really wanted to. That seems like a, a bad use of your time, but you know. Who, who am I to tell you what to do? Um, oh yeah, of course, we don't have a... We have a wandering visit today and it's not red. Uh, what, fish, hot item, buy stuff, wood, fruits. Okay. Oh, well, sorry, Audi. Didn't want to talk to you anyway, apparently. No, uh, the thing I want to talk about is, have you seen it? There's a new game coming out called Nickelodeon All-Stars Brawl, I believe, which also just sounds like an absolute mashup of, like, every single <laughs> popular fighting game, you know, is Nickelodeon, okay, that, that's IP, All-Stars, like, PlayStation All-Stars and Brawl, like, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. I, I don't know why I say Brawl so weirdly. Brawl. Which is, um, if you can tell by the name, it's a, a fighting game coming out um, by the people who made Slap City, I believe, uh, of... A load of Nickelodeon characters, essentially. I mean, there's not really much else to it, and it looks okay. I mean, uh, like the gameplay doesn't look like it's not like I look at it and be like, oh, it's the smoothest thing I've ever seen. It looks okay, like it looks fine, but it also reminds me very much of um, uh, Slap City, which was um, you know made sense because it's the same devs who made that game. It's where Slap City was sort of like a weirdly comical fighting game. Where and it's not in the category of so bad it's good. It was actually still pretty reasonable. But um, what's up, Bordy? Giant ribbon? Sure. <laughs> um, well, he's very comical characters, and I can't remember if the characters were from things. I think it's all due or something was one of the characters, but I don't really remember. I, I haven't played it. I've only seen people playing it, and it looked kind of amusing. Um, let us. Get some wood and get some fruit. But yeah, apparently the, the creators who do that now have a load of Nickelodeon show IPs and are now creating a game with a load of Nickelodeon characters, which is, you know, awesome to see. It's nice to see things from both my childhood and some a bit older than my childhood and some from much more recent years um, be able to participate in all, in all Star sort of brawl because um, they've done it before. Not Nickelodeon specifically, but like, you know, obviously Smash Bros is a crossover or all different Nintendo IPs and now it's branching out to far past Nintendo themselves which is awesome to see um, but PlayStation also had it where we tried to change up the formula and make it different where I remember it's not a stage based thing and falling out of stage doesn't kill you you have to kill someone with a super or something and apparently it kind of sucked but you know that's neither here nor there I'm not really ready to judge it because I've never played it I've only seen some game gameplay <laughs> gameplay of it well I thought it looked alright but you know Watching it is a very different experience to playing it itself. And now we've got Nickelodeon where um, they've got their own I IPs battling it out. And I thought it was pretty cool, you know? Well, at first I looked at it and I was like, what? <laughs> I thought it was going to be one of those like um, very comically bad sort of games. Like, I, I feel like many sort of video games based around TV shows and movies sort of just go in the quick cash sort of route where not many are particularly fleshed out. There are, of course, exceptions, like, you know, the Spongebob games are pretty good, apparently. Um, there's probably more, but I can't really think of off the top of my head, but there definitely are some. 
Uh, we don't need a cardboard box. Probably don't need rat, don't need rat. Don't think we need rat. Almost certainly don't need these, I think? Maybe? Let's keep one of them. I, I, I don't really remember. And the other stuff we'll put away. Um, but, I mean, it looks fun. And at the end of the day, that's really all that really matters for video games is, is it fun? Yes? No? Then, you know, play it or don't, I suppose. Uh, there's not really much more to it. <laughs> I mean, there is, but, you know, let's not delve into that. We, we talk about that all the time. Um, but I thought it was pretty cool, you know. Because Nickelodeon has a lot of good IPs. Uh, what I wish, wish, wish it was, was Nickelodeon across, like, Cartoon Network or something. Because there'd be so many more um, IPs. Tea Table Log Garden Lounge, which would really just knock it out of the park, I think. But maybe that's uh, something in the future. Tea Table Log Garden... Log Garden what? <laughs> Lounge? Was it this? No, no, no. Log Garden Lounge? Log Garden Lounge. We'll, we'll just do that because I can't remember what tea table even is in this game. Um, as we do some fishing. But yeah, but, but we got a lot of different Nickelodeon IPs. Unsurprisingly, um, as part of a... Well, part of it, full stop, you know? And uh, I mean, I think the most obvious one that people were expecting was, of course, SpongeBob SquarePants. Um, that's probably the biggest Nickelodeon IP. I'm not, don't quote me on that because I'm not actually sure, but I'd imagine it is because, you know, it's got large appeal from many different places. Uh, we should do this just in case the next one is plant a fruit tree. Because you've got SpongeBob SquarePants, you've got Patrick Star, you've got Sandy Cheeks. All of them are represented, from what I can tell. Um, it def definitely seems like a sort of game which will get... DLC characters or like expansion characters later. I can certainly see Plankton and Mr. Krabs being part of it. Um, they also have some very other popular. Oh, I thought I heard a fish and go. They have some other popular IPs like uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I will say it's kind of strange the ones they chose because instead of having all four of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I've only got two of, the, two of them. And they have Michelangelo. And they have Leonardo, who is like, okay, if that makes sense, he's a leader, I believe. Um, Makes sense to have him on a Michelangelo. You like? I would have thought Raphael would be more sensical since he's like the, the hardcore fighter dude, right? <laughs> if I can recall, Michelangelo sort of just like the fun, loving party one. But I guess because it's an all-out brawl, it's meant to be all sort of good fun and everyone just like having a wild time. And I guess that fits um Michelangelo better. Of course, Donatello. He's got the, the short end of a stick, of a bow staff. But ever, but ever, sorry. So um, he's not in it, but I, I guess it's because there's probably too much overlap between what the potential move sets would be for the mutant turtles, or the, the turtles. I, I don't know what the shorthand would be for them. Um, so they've not been included, unfortunately. Well, not all of them have been included, but perhaps later on. Um, I haven't actually watched much TMNT, so I don't really know all too much about who else would possibly be in there. I guess Shredder, and I can't remember who, what the villain's name is. Wait, maybe Shredder's. Wait, no. Shredder's the rat, right? I think so. Like, Master Shredder. Maybe, maybe his name's not Shredder. I can't remember. Anyway, um... So we got that in. What other... Uh, they have our real monsters in there, which was super surprising. It's, it's a series I'm aware about and have watched when I was younger, but I basically was so young when I watched it, I don't remember any of it. But they have, um... A black and white striped monster. What, what's her name? Like, oh, I was gonna say Oligarchy. It's definitely not Oligarchy. Oh, 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 that? That's all right, Alden. Let, 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 let's find it. Ah, real monsters. Oblina, that's it. But we don't have Ickus, which is strange because I thought Ickus was the main character. But apparently, according to the wiki, he's not the main character anymore. He was the main character then became the anti hero. And, and I've, I literally just forgot a name. Oblina? Oblina? Ah, Oblina, Oblina. I totally stay out all night playing video games, but I'm still so wide awake. Yes! Whoa, hey, Oli. You must have drank a bunch of coffee to be so wired after so little sleep. Uh, yes, you just said. Must be driven by caffeine, too. Mira is just stealing everyone's catchphrase. I got the Island High School in a game that nobody else is skilled enough to play, so yeah, I am excited. But those seven cups of coffee that I drank might be helping my catchphrase be at some point. You want to use it, too, Mira? Just sing it. Like the movie Sing? That's a great idea. I'm going to use a rock star phrase of yours. Yes. It totally has a different vibe when you use it. It's amazing. Oh, but, um... That coffee, it might not be working anymore. Oh, Ori? Ori? Yes? 
immediately back awake again, but you know, they're, they're just having a little bit of a workout on the, on the cult. Oh, on the occult circle, as you do. Um, yeah, so Abl Ablin is in it, which was, you know, surprising. I didn't expect them to put someone like her in, but fair enough. Not not like she doesn't deserve to be there or something, but like, I was like, whoa, I didn't expect them to put such, like, um, older IPs in. Oh, Sahara, hello, you are Vista for today. Um, we also had Nigel Thornberry in, which is strange because they didn't put, like, um, what's her name, Eliza? Well, that's what the girl's called, right? From the Thornberries, the wild Thornberries. But I guess because Nigel, Nigel's probably in it just with a meme potential to... The, the people who made the game are probably well aware of the meme nature of this entire sort of thing. So yeah, he's in it. Um, it looks like he's got a very comical sort of move set. Uh, who else is in it? There's Re Reptile from Rugrats, which is bizarre, I think. But um, but he would be chosen over any other other, other Rugrats, I guess. Like. I don't, I don't know, because would you do, do them in their baby form or their all grown up form? I'd be strange to fight a baby, but what do I know? <laughs> um, I guess it would be the all grown up, all grown up form, right? That, that probably makes more sense if that's been the most current iteration of it. There's also something from Ren and Stimpy, which by the way, I have not seen Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stimpy was a little bit before, just a bit too, a bit before my time, I think. I think it came out in 1992, is that right? I might just guess that randomly. Red and Stimpy. Red and Stimpy, sorry, not Red and Stimpy. 1991 to 1995, okay. No, I was pretty close. So yeah, um, unfortunately I was not born, but I am aware of it, and I, I'm aware of it sort of like crude-esque humour. And I don't mean that in a demeaning way, I just mean that's what it was. Um, we have like Powdered Toast Man, who I don't, I have no idea who that is. But, you know, it's kind of surprised it wasn't it was neither Ren nor Stimpy but apparently Ren and Stimpy on the box art for games so they are coming they're just not teased and betrayed I guess they wanted to save a lot of the big names yeah, who else do we have in it um Danny Phantom I've never seen Danny Phantom or oh, I've seen one episode I don't remember he looks a lot shorter than I remember <laughs> in this iteration of a game than I remember his um portrayal in his actual tv series but what can I say I'm not the biggest Danny Phantom fan because I don't like know anything about it. So <laughs> I know he's a phantom. He he got like caught in a machine. He's like 14 and I turned him into a ghost or something like that. I don't really remember. Okay. Um, please, Hara, give me some space. Um, who else is in it? It's hard to remember off the top of my head, to be honest. I remember um, that people were surprised because in the, the adverts, um, no one from Avatar is in it. Or well, Avatar The Last Airbender, I should say, not the, the blue people, the Navi, with Neytiri and Jake Sully. And I don't remember anyone else. Um, of course, The Last Airbender, because that's the actual Nickelodeon IP. People were surprised. I, I can't believe uh, Aang's not in it and uh, Korra aren't in it. Apparently, they're on the box art, so, you know, if you're looking out for that. We got that happening, and it was basically confirmed by it being it because one of the stages is one of the, the temples in Avatar. I haven't actually seen Avatar. I know it's crazy. Well, no, I've seen some episodes, but I was young and I don't remember them at all. <laughs> I, I should absolutely watch it at some point, but I never have. Um, let me think. Oh, you know what? There, there were two people from. Um, a, t a recent TV show I remember called The Loud House. I've never seen The Loud House, but I've now I've done, I'm going to say research on it. Like, I I've just kind of read who the characters and the synopsis of, of it is. It's apparently a very, it's a reasonably recent, um, oh, Pond Skater, come on, get over here. TV show. It was meant to, apparently a lot of people tweeted it as something I would, like, revive Nickelodeon. Uh, it didn't, per se, but apparently it's okay. Uh, but the biggest problem apparently with it is that a lot of the characters are very one-dimensional and you might say how does that happen you know how many characters are there that sort of thing uh, i'll let you know that there are like 11 main characters or something it's, it's a family with two parents and they have 10 sisters no so there's a guy called lincoln Lown and he has 10 sisters i don't remember their names but i remember like their personalities because he's got like let's see but oh the eldest one she's like some bossy person who's actually kind of kind-hearted because she's like insecure or something um the second one is the ditz 
you, you can tell that all these characters are very one dimensional because I'm just like summing them up with like a couple of words. Um, okay, we don't have enough room for anything, so. But we need to catch one more fish, I believe. Second, the second oldest is Viditz. The third oldest is. She's like a punk rocker or something who, who plays guitar. The fourth oldest. I think she's a comedian or a jokester, a prankster or something. The fifth oldest. That might be him. No. I think it's the athletic girl, right? Like the sporty one or something. And then it's him. And then it's... And then it's, then it's the, the goth girl. Who, whose name is Lucy. Who is also in the game. Lucy and Lincoln. But those two, I guess those two are most popular. I don't know. Maybe because they're the, the closest in age. And then there's a pair of twins. One who is like a, a tomboy mechanic. And the other who is a... A very girly girl princess type, I suppose, who participates in beauty pageants according to Wiki, which is, you know, a strange thing I think to portray to portray in um a kid's cartoon, but so be it. And then and then what? Then they have a younger one who is like a genius, and then they have an even younger one who's like a baby. There you go. Su su summarize them. Um so would I recommend watching it? I have no idea. <laughs> I I watched a, cl a few clips to hear their voices. And I don't remember them, like at all. But you know, if you, if you like it, that's your that's your prerogative. Go watch it if you want. If you don't want to, then you know I'm, I'm not really going to do anything about it. To be honest, it's kind of your free time is up to you. But yeah, um, it, it was a weird thing because I didn't even realise that it was a Nickelodeon property because I I've heard about the Loud House before, in passing, mainly because someone once messaged me. <laughs> Like ages and ages ago, being like, "Hey, do you like the Loud House?" And I'm like, "I've no idea what even the Loud House is." So there you go. <laughs> That's my response to that. Uh, and I looked it up, and I was like, "Oh, okay, it's some cartoon." And then I promptly forgot about it. And then it appeared here again in the Nickel Nickelodeon All Stars Brawl or whatever. And I was like, "Oh, I didn't even realize it was like that popular enough. Popular enough that two of the characters are in it." Um, so hopefully they get some good time in the limelight. I I, I don't know. Kind of want all, all is fair and love and war and that sort of thing. Everyone should get their turn. The storage is full. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'ma drink a bit more than I should tonight. Okay, we don't need this many pumpkins. Let's just like keep 40 and the rest of it we can throw away. Two weeds we can throw away. Don't know why we have three random apples and one random coconut. We only need 20 of those each. Probably don't need this many mushrooms as well, but since it isn't time limited, we'll actually get rid of them. Probably don't need that many tin cans. We can get rid of one star fragment. Uh, 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 hmm. Excuse my hiccups. Don't know why we have two of these. Uh, 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 uh. No, I didn't mean to drop this item. I can't really remember who else is in it, so I'm actually going to just play the trailer on mute, just so I can remember. Um, don't listen. We'll see who comes up. And then we'll talk about, I guess we can talk about people I want to see. Get ready to brawl. Yep, yep, yep. Of course, there's Michelangelo leading off, who I actually thought was Raphael because I don't really know the weapons. Oh yeah, that's it. There we go. Lincoln Loud, he's second him. He's second him in the show, in the trailer. So, you know, apparently he's got some fan base following him, or that sort of thing. But... I just love the concept of Lodo cartoons basically beating each other up and that sort of thing, and I hope it's something which can have cross prom not cross promotion, but crossovers with um, a load of other different um, IPs and other channels uh, early on. Like imagine if like Steven Universe and that sort of like those Disney shows gone, like Phineas and Ferb, that would be amazing. Like there's there's Lucy, or SpongeBob. Did I talk about SpongeBob? I'm pretty sure I talked about SpongeBob. Oh yeah, uh, Hel Helga's in it from Hey Arnold, which is strange because I was like, why isn't Arnold in it? But I, you know, I do have vague memories of um, Hey Arnold. I guess Helga was the much more violent one, from what I can recall. So I guess that does really make the most sense in the end. Do we really have like every type of wall and floor? What the heck is that? Is that crop circles? Crop circles? Wow, I don't know. That's even a possibility. My pockets are full. Okay, that's good enough. Yeah, um, good old Helga. I, I do like 
variety of people from just like <laughs> I mean it has your peasants in Smash Bros as well just like regular old people like you know Mario's just a regular old plumber or whatever and you've got like Ripley or something or like Bowser like not, I mean Bowser's not a good example because Mario and Bowser are in their own game but like magical beings or whatever <laughs> if high powered sort of technology and abilities on their side so you've got like Helga who's just as, I, as far as I know she's just a regular old girl and then you've got Reptar who's Amusingly, not the toy version of Reptile, it's in fact the, the full-on dinosaur version that he's based off appearing in this game, which is just, you know, wild. <laughs> so let's see. Oh, Invader Zim! I remember Invader Zim. I've like, I've watched one episode of, of Invader Zim per request of Ali. Do I remember it very well? I don't remember much. The only thing I remember is Gur going ding, 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 and I don't know, which I quote all the time <laughs> when I don't know something. <laughs> I don't really remember much from it, but you know, Invader Zim has got. I know, I know how popular it is. You know, and I, I've seen it all the time. You know, browsing a deviant art. There's a lot of Invader Zim fan art. Um, I think Invader Zim. I'm trying to think. Invader Zim actually was kind of around my time, but for some reason I, I never watched it. There's a lot of cartoons, okay? You know. Can't watch them all. Plus, I was much more of a Cartoon Network person than a Nickelodeon person. I'll definitely tell you that much. Um, of course, there's Leonardo, Daniel, da Daniel Phantom, Danny Phantom, plus many more surprises. So that's all of them that they're teasing so far. But apparently, on the on the box art, people have deduced that there is Ren and Stimpy coming, uh, Ang and Quara, and also Cat Dog, which I also did not realise was a Nickelodeon IP. But there you go. I'm very happy about that because Cat Dog, I I watched a lot of when I was younger as well. Um, even though I. Vaguely don't really remember it because I watched it at the, the point where I didn't really form coherent memories, I think, or maybe I was just kind of young. <laughs> I roll, you know, bit of column A, bit of column B. Um, but cat dogs is nonsensical, but I, I don't know. Uh, not the nonsensical the fact they're in it, but just like, I don't even know how they fight. It seems very strange, but they seem to fit the sort of comical vibe perfectly. Um, I'm trying to think who else, what other Nickelodeon I piece? Would be cool to see it. Oh, you know, um, My Life as a Teenage Robot, X, XJ9, is that name? Jenny? I can't remember exactly what it is. Um, she'd be cool to see in it. She, she seems like she would actually fit in it as well, being, you know, like a robot. A battle robot seems like it'd fit quite well to attack things, and that's kind of what she could do. Um, who else? The, the Angry Beavers, I remember, were mentioned in the Reddit thread. Uh, I, I only have vague memories of them, but I guess it'd be cool as well. But more of a merrier is kind of what I say. That's kind of, the, I suppose, the idea that um, Sakurai took to making Smash Bros. So, you know, nev definitely not going to complain about that, despite the fact that I haven't really played Smash Bros for ages. But to be fair, I only really play it as a party game, you know. Lockdown has made it rather difficult to play any sort of party games <laughs> in person. I mean, I don't know if Milky's watching. I guess I could play it with him. But there's an ongoing meme how I don't. Because I, I don't want to play it. I, I want to play it when everyone's, you know, there's like eight of us all just crowding around playing one game, you know, that, that, that's a, the vibes I'm here for. But more than I'm saying, I don't know, let, let's scroll down this thread and, and I'll probably be remind, reminded of people that will come in, that should be in here, but, uh, let's see. I oh, know this person just listed a load of avatar characters. FYI, as someone who's watching a few streams of Nick Racing Games, crossover games never have voice acting. Oh yeah, I remember this was mentioned, a dick decoration, me. Um, sure do. Yeah, I, I remember something that was very interestingly mentioned is the fact that uh, there's no, there's not going to be any voices in this Nickelodeon game, which sort of seems counter to the point because where the main focus of it is the characters. But I suppose it's something where they don't want to deal with like having to pay for <laughs> voice actors. It sounds horrible to say, but some of those shows are very odd, and apparently also some of the voice actors have unfortunately passed away. Um, so it would be quite difficult to get recording, or some of them, you know, don't record anymore. Or they, of that sort of thing, and there's probably a licensing sort of nightmare because I don't know, maybe some things are sh under shared I shared uh, license holders. Like, I couldn't think of what word was. Um, so it seems probably all like a legal sort of mess, which I don't want to deal with. I mean, like, I respect the decision, it just seems strange to me because I, I can't imagine playing SpongeBob and him just being basically silent. It feels like the entire game would just be so un unearingly quiet. We just got sound effects of like bash, 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 but you don't even hear going oof, ow, ooh, you know. That's always like um. That's that's a core principle, not core principle, but a core part of fighting games. 
It's hearing your opponent go oof, oof, oof. Or something along those lines. But, um, you know, it do be what it's like, so what can you do about it? And this person just mentioned here that none of the Nickelodeon crossover games have voice acting in the first place, so shouldn't really expect much. There's no soundtrack. What? Oh, from the franchises, okay. <laughs> I was like, what? There's gonna there be no music in this game? I, I guess the licensing is all very different. difficult with those fees is probably expensive enough with 3D models and you know apparently businesses want to be like instead of making this a very memorable experience for the people who we're appealing to let's just cut costs like i'm just kind of like oh i you know i guess it's a it is a business in the end so you got to make compromises in the first place to even get this so whatever uh, da, 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 da. let's see what else i just want to see character discussion I'm just going to play for this game considering we're people at Nickelodeon love Smash. Alright, fair enough, you know. Seems pretty good. They're not the ones making it though. The ones at Nick. Um, they're the, um, I guess they're the ones perhaps behind artistic direction and that sort of thing. I don't, I don't really know. I'm going to talk about that sort of thing. The devs made Slap City as well. They've confirmed rollback netcode. What? <laughs> That's crazy. If you don't know what rollback netcode is, and I, I don't remember exactly how it works, but um, something about like... um. It, it, it's... It predicts basically what you try to do and then like corrects itself if it gets it wrong for online play or that sort of thing which can lead to like some sort of teleporting but it's by far and away the best way to play fighting games and a lot of um other fighting games don't have that incorporated so the fact that this game does is incredible shout out to skull girls and them fighting herds which have them i guess five of them's fighting herds only has it because it's on the skull girls engine but that sort of thing uh, i haven't played that for ages jenny from teenage robot yeah oh fairly odd parents yeah that's such an obvious one Fairly old parents and Jimmy Neutron, this is what this person said, and I actually, I know it's like me sort of saying it in retrospect, but I, I, I remembered thinking that when I saw it, like after Trader, you're like, oh, I'm surprised like Timmy Turner's not here, and neither is um, Jimmy Neutron. I never really watched Jimmy Neutron, I didn't like like what it looked like when I was younger, so I never really bothered to watch it, but Fairly old parents I watched do all the time, that, that also might be what um, Nickelodeon's biggest IP, probably not as big as Spongebob, I'd guess, but y you can see exactly how Timmy would lend actually quite well to a fighting game or that sort of thing. And Jimmy Neutron, I'm sure he can put out all sorts of gadgets, I guess. For li licensing's difficult or something? Or maybe they're just keeping them for a surprise or later. I don't really know, but, you know. Who, who would I main in this Nickelodeon's game? I don't know, maybe Catdog. That sounds kind of funny. <laughs> um, let's see if there's anything else before we quickly round off this episode. Powder Toast Man, yeah, I don't know who the heck that was, but whatever. Old Stan. A completely silent side game at Evo. Fairly old parents. LT Grey. What the heck is LT Grey? That sounds familiar, but I don't remember. Chalk Zone? What's Chalk Zone? LT Grey. Oh, I've seen this. Isn't is this like a, a wrestling one? No, it isn't. Maybe it is a wrestling one. No, that's Luke, uh, Luchadori. That's Cartoon Network. I don't know. Uh, cat Scratch. Oh, Cat Scratch. I also thought that was Cartoon Network. That'd be an awesome one to see. I watched that a lot when I was younger as well. I don't remember them very well. Chalk Zone, I have no idea what on earth is. If Rocco's Modern Life, that makes sense as well. But, yeah, I don't know. It's just, I'm not sponsored by the way. I'd like to point out how it was just something interesting I thought would happen. And hopefully maybe there'd be like a Cartoon Network equivalent or a crossover. Because that's definitely what I spent a lot of my childhood watching. But I'm not going to get my hopes up for that sort of thing. Anyway, um, let's round this episode off here, shall we? So if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been Darling. Likes, comments, subscription, shares are greatly appreciated. Join me, Darling Discord. Follow me on Twitter down below. I hope we can see each other again, but for now it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now. And thank you for 200.